What it do, y'all? It's your boy Don, and we back with another video, man. As you can see, we're in Lucy right now, man. Uh, I'm about to go to the Volkswagen dealership and uh, get some, get a part. Hopefully, they have it. Uh, I'm gonna get a drive belt, man. My drive belt fucking snapped on the on the GTI on Monday, and um, I'll tell y'all a little story about that. I don't know how it happened, but I have a I have a real good idea of how it happened. But I'll get to that story a little later after we get the belt. But um. Before we get to the lit intro, um, if you haven't already, go press that red subscribe button on the channel. Press that bell, that notification bell, so you can get all notifications when I upload. And uh, give this video a blue thumbs up. And if you haven't already as well, um, go give the previous videos a, a, a look and give those videos a blue thumbs up for your boy, man. Appreciate it. Now enjoy this lit ass intro. <laughs> Second gear. What did I do? <laughs> you blew a fucking coupler off. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, sir. Service and parts. And we have some parts. Hey, this man name was Clay Thompson, though. Hey, I ain't know Clay Thompson worked at Dark Cars Volkswagen, though. But we got the parts, guys. We got the parts. You know that OEM drive belt, because I'm a butt hurt for OEM parts. I oh, man, I don't know. Oh, we're, ooh, we're a little darky. We're a little dark mode. Hey, there we go. I don't know if my man recognized me. I don't think so. He probably just asking it to see if he can give me a discount or not, but. He asked me if I worked at Dark Cars. I'm like, I used to, bro. But I was like, let me see if my employee number still work. But yeah. But now nah, he walked away at that point. But yeah, y'all. We got the OEM drive belt. Because you already know what it is. But hurt for OEM parts, depending on what it is. But uh, yeah. We got the jump. Finna go back home. And you already know I'm finna throw it on as soon as I get home. Because I'm pressed. And um, and yeah. When we get back, I'll give y'all a whole little story. I'll give y'all a quick little short story of what I think happened. And then what's the next steps for the GTI? So I see y'all soon. All right, gang, we back with it, man. So <clears throat> here's the old belt right here. Focus camera. There we go. All right, so here's the old belt. Hey, shout out to my brother Aruna for the gloves, man. You already know for the free ski. But man, yeah, as I can see, the belt, uh, they got chewed up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And I mean, like if I flip it over, like, I mean, I don't see like any cracks or nothing in this belt. Um, I'm not gonna say to be fair, cause it's not like it was a bad belt and it just happened. But um, at 60,000 miles, I should have did like a check, um, just a check up on it and see how it was good. But like I said, man, I mean, I, I looked at it yesterday. I looked at it, man. I, ain't, I don't see no, it's not dry rotted. It's not but hey, man, it is what it is. And you can see some shards, some shards of the belt up here. And so yeah, let me give y'all a quick story real quick, man. Um, so I was driving, I was driving the car Monday, like I was saying, I drove the car Monday. All day Monday was fine. I think, uh, if I can remember, I think I was like at my last stop or whatever. And uh. My battery light came on. I was like, yo, what the hell? You know, I'm like, yo, what the hell? Why is my battery light on? I'm like, is my, like, is my oscillator going bad or something? And I was, but I was like, it can't be. I mean, I guess, I don't know. I guess it would kind of make sense. I mean, what, the car is, what, seven years old? With 96,000 miles? I mean, you never know what the freaking happened. I didn't, I didn't think it was my oscillator. Um, but you know, in the back of my mind, you know, I'm like, ah, you know, could have been, you never know. Manufacturer error or something, whatever, you never know. So, when I got back, so when I checked it yesterday, so I didn't think nothing of it, so I just, I didn't even check it. But yesterday, when I got the time to check it, um, let's see if I can get some light down here for y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? 
And I gotta clean up this thing. Oh no, that's good. I thought it was some other leftover pieces. But I think it is some leftover pieces somewhere in here. Um, because the rest of the belt, I mean, it's gotta be somewhere, right? But what I noticed that this uh I believe I believe it's the coolant temp sensor right there. Um so I believe my like the, the fan assembly because it's like it's kind of like loose. I don't know if I can see it like moving a little bit, but at the bottom it had popped out of place. Like so, yeah. If you guys know, it it has slots. It has four slots for the fan to slide into the stock intercooler. So it has one that has two on the side and two on the other side. So the one at the bottom, I guess it popped out because I guess I hit it like a when I hit like a bump in the road or something. It um it must have popped out. And then it was rubbing. Let's see if I can get y'all down there. Let's see. Oh yeah. This fucking camera, y'all. I'm telling you, this camera is awesome. But I guess it was like rubbing up against the belt. I the temperature sensor was rubbing up against the belt. Well not the belt, I'm sorry, the, the AC uh pulley. And you can't really see it, but you can see it like kind of rubbing up against it right here. And I, I mean, I would have to assume, you know, that's that's what happened, you know. So basically, that's what I think happened. What I with what I seen. So I'm going. I'm pretty much going based off that, and that's what I really think happened. But nevertheless, we got the new dry belt right here, straight from Volkswagen themselves. I'm a butt hurt for OEM parts. Y'all already know. If you know, you know. Um, obviously, depending on the parts and what it is. But yeah, if you know, you know. In other words, man, let's uh, let's get this belt on, man. I'm a, um, off camera. I'm gonna just try to clean up the rest of the belt. I'm gonna try to look for the other pieces, just for peace of mind. And I should probably put my turbo heat shield back on because I didn't put that back on. I should probably put that back on. But yeah, off camera, I'm gonna try to clean up the rest of the belt. Try to find the pieces for peace of mind, and uh, and I'll get back to you guys. So let's do it. All right, gang, we back with it, man. So. I kind of looked over everything. Um, it seemed to be like nothing left there. So, uh, let me see. I guess the wind blew it up. It was just little pieces and stuff. Like, here we go. Like little pieces like that left over. But um, yeah, everything else seemed to be checked out. So now we finna put the new dry belt on. So let me see if I can set you guys up. Um, luckily, I mean, like, dude, it's like a it's a really easy system. Let me actually double check these pulleys and stuff. Make sure I ain't nothing. Like loose. Job fill. Should have crank pulley. So yeah, so we only have like three pulleys. I mean, you know, so we got the tensioner right there, which is a size 16. And then, you know, it's gonna wrap around the crank, come up around the AC compressor, and then come back up to the oscillator. So let me see if I can set you guys up for like a decent view. Adjust the camera here a little bit. Hopefully we can Get a nice spot in here, man. Hey, man, don't y'all think something missing, like right around here or something, man? You know, you know, it connects to like a thingy, you know, with some hoses that connects to another thingy right here. Yes, I'm talking catch can. Do you guys think I should get a catch can? Let me turn up and turn these lights off real quick. Oh, sorry, croc gang. But do y'all think I should get a catch can, like? I know, like, turbo cars, like, really should have a catch can, but, like, I guess it's necessary, right? Comment down below if y'all think I should get a catch can, and what brand catch can should I get for the price? Because catch cans are fucking expensive, dude. I think they're, like, $400 and shit. But, um, I don't know, we'll see. I'm thinking about doing CTS turbo just because I got the CTS turbo, uh, like, the full intake system or whatever. And then, uh, what else? And then down CTS turbo. that setup up. I'm thinking about even changing my intake and my downpipe setup and my exhaust too. I don't know. Uh, my exhaust needs a little work, you know. But yeah, I ain't gonna keep rambling. But comment down below if I should get a catch can and what brand. But with that being said, back to this. Let me set you guys up for a good view. Let's see if I can get y'all a nice little view here without uh, yeah. 
Okay, so hopefully the camera don't move as much. Ooh, look at that. But now we got some light boys and girls. I'm gonna take obviously our new drive out here from Volkswagen. Straight from Volkswagen. Once again. Yep. Shout out to my boy Clay Thompson at Dark Cars Volkswagen in Silver Spring. Make sure these belts match up. You know what I'm saying? Yep, they look good. You already know we got that that Volvo, that VW stamp on there, fam. Yes, sir. So let's get it, man. Actually, since I don't have like the under shield, I could do it from the bottom too, to be honest. And I feel like I should. The only reason why I say it is because I got my watch on, but I guess I can just really take my watch off for real, for real. And uh and do it. But man, you know what? I ain't gonna do all that. I'm finna get on the ground. And put it on. Around the crank pulley. Cause it's just that simple. Since I don't have the engine shield, the splash shield underneath, which I should. Okay, we got that on the crank. I should let me go back down and put it on the AC compressor. That would be smart too. Right? Get it all routed down here. Sixteen wrench because I feel like the wrench is gonna be easy to work with. Shout out to y'all. You know, shout out to Matco. Not a sponsored video. I wish Matco would sponsor me. All my tools are Matco. <laughs> Yo, Matco, if you watch this video, man, hit me up. Let's see. Nope. I guess it's not that way. But then I would be loosening the freaking tensioner bolt. Okay. Now we got access. Well, not access, but we have it on there. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Now it's gonna be a tight fit, y'all. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get a smaller 16. Actually, no, I'm gonna just go ahead and get that ratchet because the wrench is too long and there's not really enough space for the wrench. All right, y'all, back with it, got our 16 socket. Guess who? Matco again, but not the ratchet. The ratchet is from Harbor Freight. Alright, we're gonna get it this time, y'all. Took my watch off this time. Took my watch off. So now, I think we should be good to rock and roll now. I don't see why we don't get it on now. You know what I'm saying? Crank pulley looks good.
All right, gang, we back with it, man. Sorry I had some little difficulties, but um, as I can see, we got almost got it on. I just stopped right there so I can cut the camera back on so y'all can witness it on camera. <laughs> so we all can witness it together. But, let me, a uh, little push. Okay, and she's done, boys and girls. As I can see, I finally took the watch off and I took the gloves off too. Way more helpful. <laughs> Well, taking a watch off was way more, way more helpful, if anything, but. Okay. Okay, brand new belt is in. You see, top of the alternator looks good. Damn, that belt glistening. Damn. It's like, <laughs> um, let me get down here so I can show you guys. <clears throat> As I can see, no shield. I know, I'm freaking risking it. I'm risking it for the biscuits. <laughs> but as I can see, it looks good right there around the AC. Let me take this off real quick. Get y'all some better light. There we go. Okay, we look good around the AC compressor all the way around. Let me see. Let's just make sure. Yeah, it looks good. What y'all think? Y'all think it looks good? Okay. The same thing with the crank pulley. I love how easy, like, I mean, simple it is. It's really three pulleys plus the tensioner. So, yeah. Y'all already know we got that. Volkswagen, that VW stamp once again. Yes, sir. Everything looks good. Alternator looks good. Tensioner. Crank pulley once again, like I said. And I need, I should definitely invest into a, uh, a splash shield underneath because, yeah, this is getting out of hand. And it looks like I'm leaking coolant or something, bro. And I should start to leak oil up there. I don't know where it's coming from. Well, obviously it's coming from like behind us, the timing cover or whatever. So it looks like I'm gonna have to look into that too for somebody that can do that for me. I need to look and see if somebody can do that for me or handle it or something. I don't know, man. Maybe I hit my man Thomas up, built by Thomas in Arizona, get the car shipped down there so he can do that for me. <laughs> it's like, nah, unless he's up for it. But, uh, but yeah, man. We got the belt on. I put the car up on like, I got the jack holding it up and for safety measures, we got the jack stand back there. But yeah, just to give me some space on the ground. And yeah, man, so. Brow, brow. And you see that space right there. Yesterday, like I said, once again, they were touching and now they're not. So hopefully it's good. I gotta be mindful of bumps and shit. Excuse me. Oh, I gotta be mindful of bumps and stuff like that in the road because I kind of I don't want to say I drive recklessly because I don't I mean I don't I don't drive recklessly but and I just like to drive fast because it's fun you know what I'm saying the adrenaline and shit but I definitely gotta be mindful of bumps and shit and I'm like slammed well not slammed right now but I'm like Freaking three inches off the fucking ground. Which I feel. So let's take that off. I, mean, I had to take the freaking the thing the top piece off to the jack, man. That's how you know how low how low I am. And no, I know I should get a low pro jack. But uh let's see if I can do this with one hand. Just put my car back safely and slowly on the ground here. I should get another jack anyway, because this joint, it's not even like that old, but it's just all rusty and moving slow, and I think the ball bearings popped out somewhere in here. I forget where they popped out, but the ball bearings popped out, but it's still moving. It's back together. Y'all see that, that nice EQT Vortex Turbo right there, and it's already like getting some color right there, man. Uh, I don't know if I should really, I don't know if I should be concerned about that or what. But um, wait a minute, let's see if she starts with me. She's gonna start, right? Did I have my access port with me? I did not bring my access port with me. Not that I need it. But let's see, y'all. It's a little dark, excuse the darkness. Okay. Ah, 
Uh, we back in action, boys and girls. No more battery light, because my battery light came on, like I said, but we got no battery light. We got low gas, though. We got <laughs> low gas. Anything you want to say to the vlog? Let's check down here. Okay. Looks good. Looks clear. Drive belt looks like it's, it's good. All the ribs are in place, like I said before. Everything is good. Yes, sir. Man, I'm happy with it. Obviously, I mean, nothing to really be happy about. But I mean, I. But then again, scratch that. It is something to be happy about. I fixed it. A simple fix. And it only cost me sixty dollars. Hey man. Um, that's the drive belt. Unfortunately, like I said, I, hope I'm, I had some little difficult difficulties, which resulted in me taking my watch off and my gloves off. So I wanted you guys to really see like what I was doing in the steps but hopefully you guys got uh, a good like concept if you would um, on how to replace the drive belt on your Volkswagens on the Mark 7 GTIs and I'm pretty sure it, it may or may not be the same for the Jettas and stuff and I feel the raindrops I feel the raindrops I think it's about to rain again but yeah um, with that being said man that's the end of the video man give this video a blue thumbs up if this helped you, uh, give this video a few thumbs up. If you fuck with me, press that red subscribe button. Press that bell notification so you get notifications when your boy uploads videos. And um, next thing with the GTI, man. I'm, I'm having like, I don't know. So, I've been going back and forth with the guy. I don't, honestly, I don't know who the fuck I'm talking to at EQT. But I've been going back and forth playing email tag with whomever I'm talking to. And um, he says I have a major boost leak somewhere. And I, I went over, this was like two weeks ago, so I went over everything. I readjusted my inner cooler piping and the clamps, couplers, everything. Um, I think that kind of helped because the car feels like it pulls harder. It pulls a whole lot better. But he still says I have a major boost leak. So I don't know what's going on. If you guys can shed some light on that, please drop down in the comments below. But I know I'm going to regret this. And it's probably going to be a waste of money. But um, I already made an appointment to take my car to New Jersey Performance up in Aberdeen, Maryland. So I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it up there uh, in about another week or so, about a week and a half or so. Had them look at it and everything. I might just have them while it's there. I'm gonna just have them fully tune the car, you know, um, if they can, and see if they can dyno tune it. Cause I mean that's the, that's the, that's that's pretty much what I'm waiting for is just to get the car dyno tuned. So. I'm thinking about just having that done while it's up there. Might as well knock two, three birds out in one stone. But yeah, I'm Ramley God. That's the end of the video, man. Peace.